Hey guys, today we're going to talk about a planeswalker and we have a ghost rare which only really existed in Yu-Gi-Oh! until now but the foil copies of the ghost assassin will have a different artwork which is very very awesome. So at the bottom of the card it reads 222 out of 221. I've always enjoyed this. Back in my day uh, they had this set, and the set had Tamagorf, not Tamagorf, Tamagornoff, and then the Weatherlight had different art, Kovacs had different art, and the set had these super rare alternative art versions with different artwork, and I loved it. I mean, it was very difficult to collect, and I think they were like one a case or something like that. Now, we're going to get cards like that in conspiracy i totally agree with this because people who want to spend a lot of money will spend more money out of this and it should just like expeditions reduce the cost of everything else in the set now the this card in particular uh 222 out of 221 uh, reminds me a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! actually now is fantastic artwork i i like the original artwork and think it's been really good but the foil i mean the foil is amazing and especially a ghost foil i can only imagine the blue would probably look fantastic uh, it's probably going to be a lot better in person and i'm pretty excited i think this is definitely the path to go uh, is make uh, expeditions make super different art alternative ones and boost packs let the people who really like collecting the game pay like absurd sums of money for that and the rest of us we can just pay less money uh, for the regular cards which is great for everyone, so we get our f first ghost rare in Magic the Gathering. <laughs> awesome. Anyway, bye guys.